Welcome and thanks for joining me right here on the channel. The solution is you. I hope that you are doing well wherever you may be. I appreciate each of you for taking time to come over and visit with me right here on the channel. You could be anywhere, but you decided to be right here on the solution is you. Now, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Let me go ahead and get right into today's subject. The topic of today, 10 ways to instantly make her well run dry. Now, it's nothing like meeting the honey of your dreams. I want you to envision a time or even the type of woman. This is a woman who you wouldn't mind being with for a number of years. This is probably the ideal woman for you. The one who you could envision satisfying all of your needs and someone who you would not mind spending the majority of your time with. So this is someone who you could do about anything and everything with. This is a person who will keep you company and will do all of the things that you've ever wanted. And this is not just any woman. This is the woman who you really could see yourself with for the next five to 10 years or more. Now, if you are already with that special someone, especially if this is someone that you've just met within the last six months to a year, then it's best for you to do all that you can to keep this person and to make the best impression possible so that your relationship can be successful. And so you want to avoid anything that can drive this beautiful woman away. So you want to pay attention to the 10 ways that can instantly make her well run dry. So number one, running out of gas. So for all of you who own vehicles, Things happen. We don't have control over a lot of things. Sometimes you may lock your keys in a car. How many of you have done this? There are times when you leave the headlights on and it runs your battery down. There are times when you may need to change your flat tire. Maybe you've run over some glass or there was a nail that got lodged into your tire and so you have to pull over and you have to change a tire things happen but when it comes to chauffeuring your woman around and this is the woman that you really enjoy y'all have great times together y'all go out and y'all get on the dance floor and you go out to hotels and you get the most expensive room and this is a woman that you may have just met and you're just trying to make the best impression. You haven't been with her that long, but you could envision yourself with her for quite some time. So it's nothing like you're out and you're taking a ride in the car. Maybe you just got you a new Chrysler 300 or you have a Camaro or whatever you're driving and you got her in the passenger seat and she's looking good and you're rolling. And like I said, you, you just met her and you're having a great time. Y'all are talking about your day and what's to come and y'all really going back and forth. Maybe you have uh, some jams on the radio that you're listening to. So you bob into the beat. And then you're on the freeway and, and, and it's summertime. So it's very hot outside. 
And so you're, you're in traffic on the freeway. And the next thing you know, you run out of gas. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could this happen? Well, it happens all the time with gas prices being so high, especially depending on where you're living. Gas is so high that there are a lot of people, doesn't matter what you're driving, who's filling up with just $10 worth of gas. And sometimes they're so desperate or so determined to impress a woman that they're willing to do whatever it takes at whatever cost, even if it means barely making it to impress a lady. And there's probably some of, some of you who've been in this situation where you have run out of gas with your woman in the car. Now, you know this is not a good look because when you pull over and it's pushing 95 plus outside, that means that you have to either one, find a gas station to walk to, number two, wait on somebody to come through to drop off a gas delivery, or three, wait on AAA to come out to help you with the fuel or possibly even tow your car, depending on the situation. Either way, this woman will not appreciate what you just put her through. Number two, depend on another man. So, you know, us men, we have a lot of pride. You know, our ego means everything to us. So when we go to work, we put in a hard days working. We come home. We want to be respected for our efforts. And we should because we are the ones who are going out and dealing with a lot. And that's what a man's supposed to do is go out and do whatever it takes under any circumstances to get things done. But sometimes it doesn't matter how much effort you put in and how many hours you spend on the clock. Seems like it's just not enough. So some of you may have been in a situation or currently in a situation where you have a woman at, at home and you're having trouble paying some bills or maybe you're short on some groceries and if only you had an additional $50, that would get you through. And so you, you can't really go to your woman because you've already pumped up that you're the man and a man's supposed to do whatever it takes to make, it, make ends meet. And maybe you're the one who you have several partners or men or, you know, your boys who come over and they're over often. Maybe they're watching a the game. Maybe they like to come over and play cards and dominoes. So they are familiar with you and the family and they may come over every weekend. And, you know, you are having parties and things like that. So they are familiar with your living arrangements and, and some of the tough times that you have. And so maybe there's a close buddy that you have. And or this could be a, a neighbor that that you see pretty often. And, and maybe you've struck up a conversation about something and you have some things in common with this neighbor who's a, a male who lives down the street and. You just need groceries for the family. You've, you've put in your hours, but your check is short. You don't get paid again until two weeks. And you haven't developed any other ways to make any income. And because you may be desperate or you're just trying to find ways to what you believe to make your lady happy. You go down the street at some point, strike up some conversation like usual. And you ask this friend or neighbor to borrow $50 to help get you some groceries. So when you get back home, your woman is asking because she knows what you make and she knows what you're going through. And she's asking you about how you obtain the money to get some additional groceries. So you go ahead and tell her that 
you sp talk to the guy down the street and you were able to get $50 from him. Now, in the back of your woman's mind, she is thinking about this in a way she's happy that you were able to get the money. But at the same time, she's wondering what will you do the next time this happens? And as a man, if you're making this a habit by going to one of your buddies or even someone who is living in the direct vicinity of where you reside, this can open up doors that you're going to have trouble closing. Because in the back of your woman's mind, she's looking at this guy that's giving you money as a provider as a go-to person, as a person who can be trusted and possibly depended on to provide and may just step around you and go directly to him for her needs. Number three, waiting for her to make decisions. Now, life is filled with choices. There are decisions that have to be made daily. So we have to make sure that we are on top of our game as men and that we are well informed so that we can make prompt and accurate decisions. And sometimes we can be off with our decision making. Sometimes we are doing off day. But make sure that you are making the best out of any mistakes and that you're learning from your mistakes and that you are pressing forward whenever you find that you have fallen off your horse. It's so important that we recognize signs and signals for when we need to step up. And so as a man, there are situations where the cable guy or some plumber or something that's coming over to work on your home and he needs to gain access to certain parts of your house so he has some questions about maybe some tools that he needs to use or a wall that he needs to get to and you may be the one who has your woman in the room with the guy who has these technical questions while you are somewhere in the background doing something, maybe you are at the table eating or you may be in, your, in the room giving instructions from a distance and the tech guy is asking your woman all the questions and she's trying to determine why you haven't gotten up to take charge of helping the guy out because you should be more tech savvy than her. And so you are depending on her to come up with all the answers and, and given direction. Or this could be a situation where you're out to eat and you both have a menu, you and your woman. And maybe you're at a new restaurant or something and she's trying to make a decision on what she wants, but she, she can't decide. And she's trying to figure out what you're going to eat and you're passing the buck back to her and trying to figure out what she's going to get. And she just wants you to take charge to go and order something for her based on your tastes or based on what you think she should have. You know, women look up to us for a lot of things. It doesn't matter how simple we believe they are. Uh, women, they trust our intellect and they trust our judgment and they depend on us to take lead. And a lot of women, they just are happy that there's a man that they can put their pride into and it doesn't matter what the situation or circumstance may be a lot of times they just like to hear a man take charge and so if you're one that's missing out on these signals and maybe she's kicking the responsibility to you which sh should be up on you and then you are getting uncomfortable and you pushing back on her to basically answer any questions or something and make any decisions for you too. This is something that can make her feel like she cannot trust you and, and that she cannot put her all into you because you're not willing to take charge. And this, this is something that 
as as men we have to recognize and a lot of times you have to translate body language and things that are not said so that you don't miss anything and you're not putting yourselves in a situation that's going to wreck your relationship at some point. Number four, cannot get aroused. So this may be a honey that you have just met. And I mean, this is a, someone who you've been talking to and you've gotten to know maybe it's at the job. And so you have a honey at the job and, and you've been talking to her for about two months. And so this is a real fly honey. You know, this is one that has the shape and has the looks and talks right and smelling good and, and has the charm. And so this is one that you can't wait to get home. I mean, you can't wait to get over her house and to see what's really going on. And so with this woman, you on the phone or you sending texts and you're telling her all the things that you're going to be doing to her, that she's never had it like this before, that you are not to be messed with and that she's going to be falling in love at first touch. And you've set expe expectations of things that have never been done and, and are yet to be seen. And so you go over to her house. The, everything is in place. The lights are dim and you two have just had some laughs earlier and maybe you got a uh, drink or two and everything's about to go down so you got some light music on and she's taking off her clothes and you're getting your clothes off and she's kissing you all over and you got on the bed and she's basically telling you to come get it and you uh, you realize that it's taking you a little longer than expected to get ready. So you're trying to buy yourself some time. So you're kind of talking. And you know with women, you can only talk so long, especially since you've blown everything up over the last few weeks. And so she's ready. You know, a few drinks in the bed, dim lighting with a light music on. She's ready. She has her clothes off. And you, you over here, taking your time, talking. And you know, you have some women who would just say, quit all the talking, let's get down to it. So that's pretty much where she's at. And so you hesitating to take off your clothes and because you know you're not quite there yet and you're kind of trying to stall for time. And at this point, you know, she's kind of like, hey, what's the deal? You was talking all of this noise, so, so what's the deal? And so at this point, you're like, oh, I got to go use the restroom. So you go use the restroom and you, you come back in the same situation. For some reason, you just can't get aroused. You ever been in this situation with a woman? And sometimes, men, we can be under stress. So a lot of times, stress can cause you to not get aroused like you, sh you think you should be. And... It's amazing the things that stress has on the body, but nevertheless, that doesn't matter because you put yourself in this situation. Or this could be a situation where you are known as an underperformer. So you know that you have a, a habit or a knack for underperforming, but because you were trying to play to the woman's feelings and trying to blow yourself up to be something that you're not, that you've put yourself in a situation to where you could get talked about at work or in a situation where you've lost your chance of taking things further with this woman. And number five of the 10 ways to instantly make her well run dry. Talking too much. So... Men, we like to 
at times get together and talk about women and you know women and how women view men and talk about our different experiences about our woman and maybe how relationships play into certain things that we experience in life but there's nothing like a man that's talking more than her woman and i mean a man that is maybe with some of her girlfriends and he's into who's dating who more than your woman is so usually women like to get together and like to discuss who is talking to who and whose spouse is doing this and that and how such and such got together and how they're still together and what they like to do on Saturday nights and what their favorite shows are. And But when you have a man or as a man, you are engaged with your woman's girlfriends more than she is then this is something that may make her well instantly run, run dry because usually men are reserved, especially at certain times. So, you know, we have intuition, times in which we should speak and times which we should stay silent. And there are times which we need to give direction and times which we need to see action. But as a man, you shouldn't basically run your mouth 24-7 just about any and everything without thinking before you talk. And so as a man, we have to think before we act. And we have to be very cognizant about the people around us and the things that we say and when we say them because our actions say a lot about us and not only us the the person that we're with so your significant other and so it has a lot of impact when you're going around and if you're a person who goes around you spilling the beans about any and everything things that you're doing in private uh, telling secrets and things that are uh, unauthorized this includes spilling the tea about your homeboy's girl or your homeboy and what he's doing. Maybe your homeboy's doing some creeping and you going around and just going around and telling everybody things that he doesn't want anyone to know. And I mean, you're just all over the place with it. So you just want to be careful about the information and, and the, the secrecy as it relates to the people who are around you and the people that are depending on you to keep things under wraps. Number six, refusing to all her down. So you have women out here who enjoy a great massage. I'm sure a lot of you may give your woman a massage every night or every other night. Women really love to have their feet rubbed and back rubbed and they like for you to use oil and, and some type of therapy lotion. And they really enjoy this. Sometimes it may just be at some random point during the day, but especially just after a shower or just before bed. But if your woman is basically begging you to all her down, especially if this is a real fine one, so this is one that got the hips and got the proportionate body and the skin is on point and she looks very nice and, and feels nice. Maybe her body is very soft and she basically has to beg you to awe her down or has to remind you or throw hints. You're definitely going to make that well run dry sooner than later. Number seven. Yes, man. So women like for us to go out and do things for them without 
them telling us to. And then there are those times where women like to give instruction as well, just like men. So they like to tell you exactly what they want from the mall. They like to tell you exactly what they would like for you to order online for them. Or it may be some certain type of food that she wants you to go and pick up. So she may put in a request and have you go pick it up. And you follow instructions and go do it. Now, this is occasionally. But you do have women that can take advantage and want you to do any and everything whenever they want you to. And believe it or not, there are men who go out and they do everything that satisfies their woman. Anytime the woman asks them to do whatever it is, they go out and do it. No questions asked. You need me to go out and get some ice cream? Okay. You want me to go out and get you some popcorn from the movies and bring it back to you? Fine. You need me to run out and get you some Tylenol pain reliever at midnight? I got you covered. But just because a woman asks you to go and do something, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and do it. Remember, women are always looking to test men. And just because they're telling you to do something, that doesn't necessarily mean they expect you to. A lot of women, they want pushback. They don't want anything easy. And so as a man, we have to understand a lot of the tricks and things that are being played, not saying that women are looking to trick us, but it's just in their nature to be rebellious somewhat and want to be corrected or want to be challenged. And a lot of men, for a lot of men, this goes over their heads, thinking that, you're supposed to do everything it takes to satisfy a woman, and that's not necessarily true. Just ask them. Women like to be challenged. They don't want you to do any and everything that they ask. They like a little pushback. They like a little challenge. They like for you to go against the grain or go against the norm. So when it comes to doing any and everything, just because a woman asked you, you may find yourself in a situation complaining at some point saying that I don't know what the problem is. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. I'm satisfying everything that she asked me, but I'm still not getting the satisfaction that I need. So you may have lost her interest and when you lose interest, you've also ran the well into the ground. Number eight, at home all day. So, as I mentioned earlier, men have pride in going out and earning our keep to go out and put in a hard day's work. But there are some of you out there who may have been in a situation or are currently in a situation where the roles are reversed. Now, I'm not talking about a situation where you hurt on the job and you're getting sick pay or some type of benefit, short term disability or something like that. Or maybe you have time off to care for a new child or something. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about a well bodied, able to get out and make some things happen, but instead it's your woman who is going out and bringing home the bacon. So your woman is leaving out 6 a.m. in the morning to get to work by 8 a.m. And she's calling you at home, checking to see what you're doing. And you two are conversing on the phone. She's trying to find out what you're doing. You're playing it off like you're busy. And then she gets off at five and she makes it home 
by 7 p.m. and trying to find out what you've done all day and find out that you've watched back-to-back -back episodes, about 10 episodes of The Chappelle Show. You don't want to find yourself in this situation where your woman is constantly going out making things work, bringing home the bacon while you are at home, wasting time. And this is a situation where your woman will secretly plot on you and before you know it will up and leave and you will find yourself alone. Number nine. Introduction to the family. So whenever you're with a woman who is the ideal woman for you, this is what you believe. You believe that this particular woman is a woman that you can see yourself with for the next five to ten years. This is a woman who fits your looks. She seems to be on point with her Composure, this is a woman who you don't have to give much instruction to. Everything seems to be on point. But the thing about this is every woman presents themselves like this for the most part if you've just met them. So if you've just met this woman about two weeks and you believe that this woman is the ideal woman for you and so every time you meet a woman in two weeks, you're introducing her to your mom, your dad, your, your sisters. If you have any brothers, you're just taking them around and meeting the family after two weeks of meeting this individual. This is something that could run her off because who does that? Sometimes you have to use some type of thought. And you have to use good judgment when it comes to meeting someone for the first time. It doesn't matter how good they're looking or the, how they present themselves to you within the first couple of weeks of you meeting them. A lot of times you are meeting the person's shadow and it's only a matter of time before this person shows you exactly who they are. Now, how many of you have been out there, men or women? And you've met someone who you thought was the person for you. Maybe you were comparing them to someone you had in the past. And compared to the person you used to have, this person looks like an angel. And because this person seems to be 10 steps ahead of the person that you were last with, you go ahead and you introduce them to the family. And then two months later, this person turns out to be a complete psycho. And now they're cussing your mom out and telling your family to go to you know where and you you got on yourself about introducing this person to your entire family because now they've embarrassed you and now you're having serious regrets about how fast that you were moving so you have to be careful about the people that you meet and allow enough time between getting to know this person and getting to know the people who surrounds this individual and get into the background, ask plenty of questions and just let nature take its course. There's no rush. You have to ask yourself, why are you rushing into something when if this is truly the person for you, they wouldn't want you to rush because they're going to be there if that's what their intentions are. Number 10, more scared than her. So oftentimes when you are at home, say you're watching a scary movie, say it's late at night and your woman is with you and you're on the couch or in the bed and you got your big screen television with your Dolby surround sound and the lights are off and it's extremely dark in there and you're watching maybe Jason or you're looking at Michael Myers and there's a scene where Michael jumps out of the shadows and he he has the knife and, and he's about to go in and your woman jumps 
and she jumps into your chest and she's afraid of what's going to happen next. Well, there's those situations where the opposite happens. So you may be out walking to the store as a man with your woman and you're walking down a quiet neighborhood sidewalk and you're on your way to the local store, but you chose not to drive. You decided to walk just to get out and get some exercise. Then all of a sudden you heard somebody run up behind you and you start, you take off running just to find out that it was a group of runners who happened to be running by getting exercise just like you. You didn't even bother to protect your woman because you wanted to get out of harm's way. Don't let it be a situation where you're at the movies. So you know now they have so many crazy demonic type movies that are out there that are enhanced with the sound and the, the effects and how they have these scenes that just jump out at you when you least expected it. And you at the movies and you're with your woman and you, you have a big bucket of popcorn and she has her drink. Maybe she has a medium sized Sprite and you got your M&Ms sitting right next to you. And so you about 30 minutes into the movie, you're talking to your girl and she's telling you to watch the movie. So you're watching the movie, but you keep talking to her and she's trying to get you to be quiet and everybody is quiet, but you're talking. And then when you look up at the screen, all of a sudden a scary part comes. It's a, it's a moment in the movie that caught you by surprise and you jump and the popcorn is wasted all over your girl. Now she's looking at you like, really? Man, come on. And now you embarrassed because you try to carry yourself as hard, but couldn't last doing the little old rated R movie. Now, how many of you women have men that have jumped during the movie? Now, I'm not talking about a little scared. I'm talking about all out frightened, but then try to play it off as if it was nothing. I hope you enjoyed today's message. I thank you for listening to me today. Please understand that the solution is you. With that, have a great day.